So Tottenham consists of two postcodes, N17 and N15. So when we're down by the police station, that is N17. I'm following by Farron Paul as he roams there. the area but looking for young people to inspire. Here, the connection of ongoing like postcode disputes, do you know what I mean? Um, it's not like they live a million miles away from each other. Like if you walk down the road for 15 minutes in the wrong direction, then you might just end up in a place where, you know, it won't be good for your health. Yeah, yeah. And Farron knows well. Over a decade ago, he was stabbed nine times on two separate occasions. That's 18 knife wounds. So how has street life changed? Snapchat, Instagram, yeah, um, we never had them things back in the day. As exactly. Well. So now, I think that's what caused a lot of the crimes nowadays as well. What's that, social so, media? Yeah, social media because you got people like on Snapchat putting up their location like, yeah, if you want me, I'm right here, come, come get me. What do you me. mean, like they're out there? What yeah. do you mean? Like, like if I'm standing here right now on this block, I'll, be, I'll do a Snapchat now and be like, yeah, what, you are looking Not for Not you in I'm person, but that's what the youngest are doing. Yeah, that's so. what they're doing. 16 year olds party. Yeah? That's what I confiscated. And if you think that's shocking, watch this one. This means come to the party. What's this? That video was taken last year after Farron claims he searched people for knives at his niece's party. Change, he believes, starts with the right people sharing the right message. People like him who have been there. I don't care how small you are, how old you are, big or small, or what bad man land you came from, yeah? To go out and hurt someone and take someone's life, it's not acceptable. There's no reason why you should pick up your knife and go and try to kill another person's child. It's not fair, it's not right. There's many big, big, big social media platforms that are allowing these people to put silly material up that's gonna get reactions from other people. So I think that also needs to be, um, how can I say, monitored and guided of what content's allowed. I feel like the children are less scared to commit crimes. Um, I feel like they're less scared, scared of consequence, um, whether that's retaliations or being locked up or whatever. And I just feel like they're genuinely lost as well. This estate where Farron grew up is far from the heart of political power, where meetings about knife crime continue for now. The disconnect, he says, is too big. Rhea Chatterjee, ITV News.